Hello everyone, Richard Evans here from Caliber Yacht Sales and today we're going to have a look at this beautiful 2010 Symbol 58 in absolutely pristine condition. As a matter of fact, the fellow who owns it is a precision engineer and um, let me tell you, we've shown you a lot of beautiful boats but you're, <laughs> you're going to be really surprised by the condition of this boat. Everything in place, everything is absolutely beautiful and well kept, well managed and it really shows. But no more ado. Follow me, let's go aboard and have a look. So just look at this beauty. Amazing, amazing boat and uh, easy to board. Look at this. Now these uh, wide side decks have these high gunnels which make it very, very safe for children and uh, for pets. I like the idea that you have a, a rigid cover all the way along the side deck right up to, to the uh, helm door. Um, and it's uh, perfect for the Pacific Northwest because you're always protected. But I really like how safe uh, this boat is with the, uh, these high, high gunnels. like that a lot. Now back in here, look at the size of this cockpit, will you? You could put four, six people back here very comfortable with uh, some uh, collapsible teak chairs and maybe set up some teak tables and uh, have a real comfortable warm gathering right here in this, uh, in this big, big cockpit. Another way to board is uh, through this transom gate and stepping down onto this big swim grid. So right here we've got hot and cold fresh water wash down for when you come out from swimming. And right next to it is your uh, shore power cords. Uh, you've got two 80 foot 50 amp shore power cords. If you want uh, one for port and one for starboard, you have the option of doing that here. Very convenient. I love the way uh, they tuck away so nicely there. Have a look at this. So I really like the uh, way the dock lines are being handled here with these rollers. Much less chance of chafing. Keep in mind this uh, boat's over 62,000 pounds so um, having, uh, having a system like this to, uh, to manage your dock lines is, uh, is really good. I really like that a lot. So let's go back into the cockpit and go through some of the stuff that's up there. Very, very comfortable way of uh, receiving guests uh, by dinghy. Now, one of the things that I really like about this uh, cockpit is that uh, uh, rigid hard tops are great. Uh, I particularly like them for the uh, Pacific Northwest. We get uh, some rain out here, um, and like a day like today, you get a lot of sun. But uh, in a case like this, you've got a three-quarter cover uh, over your cockpit, which is great because those who want to be in the shade have the shade, and those who want to have some sun have the ability to have the sun here as well. This also provides a platform for your dinghy, which is above, and we'll get to that in a few minutes. Now over here, uh, you have an outdoor kitchen set up. Uh, you've got uh, your fresh water sink and a food prep area here. And that's, that is, that's heavy. This is a really well-built boat. Down below, uh, you've got your fridge. And then up top on the uh, bridge deck, you've got a fridge there as well. Now down below here is um, access to your lazarette. That's a great area for storage down there. And we'll get down there in a few minutes uh, so you can have a look at what we're talking about. But very easy to uh, get into. Very secure. We have of closing it up and latching it closed. Look at these. Gradual steps up to the ladder uh, which will take you up to the bridge deck and uh, we'll show you the bridge deck when we gain access from the pilot house. What a beautiful day. There's a bit of a breeze coming off the water here and just just look at that vista. Absolutely gorgeous here in BC. I want to talk a little bit about uh, these uh, diamond sea glaze sliding glass doors. Uh, stainless steel and uh, double insulated glass. Um, and so easy. Look at that. Simply push the latch down. Now these are very, very heavy doors. You to take them off the tracks. Um, they would be heavy. I don't know how heavy, but uh, uh, I'll tell you they're, uh, they're heavy and they'll keep out the worst of the weather. Look how easy that is to operate. And then they just click in place. 
and that's very secure. I love this concept of having the outdoors in and the indoors out. And then we go into this beautiful salon. Wow, check this out, eh? Now, isn't this beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. Very, very high end. Uh, these, uh, uh, the molding and the woodwork in here is just so beautiful. And while we're sitting here in the salon, we're enjoying all the vista of the outdoors as well. You could have a group in here and a group in the cockpit. And uh, what a perfect, perfect boat for entertaining. Notice the air conditioning in reverse air. Uh, the owner has been out in five degree below zero Fahrenheit and found that the heat pump was working just fine. He was in here in shirt sleeves. So a big part of that is because of the insulation that's, uh, that's in the core and the double glazed sliding glass doors that we had there. Uh, the first thing I want to show you is uh, the uh, Sub-Zero freezers and uh, there's two of them. Um, ice cube maker and that one there. Uh, the galley is up here in the pilot house. We'll get that uh, to that in a sec, but that, I think that's just a perfect place for the freezer. There is a fridge up there in, uh, in the galley that, uh, that you'll see when we get there. Lots of storage in here. A um, lot of drawers all, uh, all around the, uh, uh, all around the uh, salon. And look at these big windows that we have here, letting in all that natural light. Uh, those, uh, this is tempered glass, by the way. Uh, you don't have to worry about uh, uh, taking a big wave on the side, not that you'd ever be out in that kind of weather. Uh, curtains, beautiful curtains that uh, draw across the windows for privacy. Uh, a TV that pops up out of here uh, in perfect location right across from the settee there. The, uh, we have a beverage cooler right here, and uh, that's uh, very conveniently located because right above that is uh, a space that can be used for a bar. Alright, so lots of storage here throughout the entire boat, but a uh, big drawer here, um, and uh, drawers up top, and another big drawer down below. Over here in this corner, uh, there's obviously room for this big comfortable chair and the oddment. And I like this. Um, this is a, a window that uh, slides open and is screened uh, so you can have ventilation in here without having your uh, double glass doors open. Right here and a great spot just to sit and read a book. I love this. This is, this is kind of cool. It um, looks like uh, a piece of Chinese furniture and it just uh, beautifully augments and sets off the rest of this teak that's in here. Really like that a lot. Now right here, uh, we've got this uh, settee that uh, you could comfortably sit three or four people there. Well, here we are. We have a, a wonderfully stocked bar. Oh my goodness, he's got, uh, he's got some really nice brands in here and uh, he's got triple sec. Looks like uh, he's into margaritas. Yeah, so am I. <laughs> but this, now this is very special. Um, have a look at this table. The uh, table right now is set up as a cocktail table, but when you pull these out, this opens up like so, and just look at that bird's eye maple table, that's beautiful. Now, uh, just on the other side of that, there's a crank that uh, cranks that table up, and now it becomes a dining table, if you wish to use it as such. Isn't that lovely? And just uh, the, the craftsmanship in that is uh, very, very high gloss and the very uh, complex grains in there are just beautiful, beautifully done. So just imagine yourself, folks, uh, welcoming your guests aboard uh, through those sliding glass doors into this wonderful salon with this luxurious finish all around you and these big beautiful windows affording a vista like that. Wow, feels good. You'll see when you come down yourself. Now, let's go up and have a look at the pilot house. Hey folks, here we are in the uh, pilot house and I really like this, uh, this layout. I like the idea of uh, the galley 
and uh, the uh, dining area being up here in the pilot house. And the reason I do is because when you're underway, um, the uh, skipper's not on his own. Uh, he can have uh, his friends and family gather right here in this area. So, um, lots to talk about up here, but the first thing that impacts me is this beautiful wood. Absolutely gorgeous wood. And yeah, here I go again talking about wood, but I, I really do love teak. I really do, especially when it's as beautifully finished as this is. Just have a look at all this teak and holly here. Let's have a look at the galley. Let's do that first, shall we? So here we are in the uh, in the galley space, and uh, I, I like this configuration. It's uh, it's very safe uh, with a U-shaped galley like this. In uh, in a seaway, you're you're um, uh, braced in here very securely. Not that you'd have to worry about it with this boat, uh, because one of the many many features on this boat are the NIAD stabilizers that keeps the boat very stable in a seaway, even in a cross sea. Uh, the first thing you're going to notice is this gorgeous, gorgeous uh, Corian countertop here, which is uh, uh, nicely finished with this uh, sculptured edge here. It uh, just adds that extra degree of luxury to it. But the colors in this Corian brings out the teak, and that's uh, the colors in the teak, and that's uh, well thought out. Very, very nice matching there. Lots of uh, cupboard space. Um, and uh, I particularly like the hardware. Um, it's um, very safe to use. You don't have to stick your finger in and end up getting thrown back and your finger breaks. Uh, it's simply push the button and open it up and then to lock it, just press in like that. And lots and lots of uh, covered space here. So just below uh, this cabinet here, we've got a three burner electric stove. And, uh, uh, of course, you have uh, two 50-amp shore power cords that uh, come into this boat, one for port, one for starboard, as we talked about earlier. But uh, there's also a 16-kilowatt genset, a Northern Lights genset, uh, down in the engine space that, uh, that will nicely power anything that you need up here. Uh, so you've got a three-burner stove right here, and just down below that, you've got a convection microwave oven. Uh, which is uh, very nice. Below that you've got uh, pots and pans drawer um, and uh, of course you've got all of these drawers here that uh, uh, hold a myriad of, uh, of foodstuffs and uh, utensils. Right here uh, you've got uh, your sub-zero fridges just like your freezers that were down below. Um, you've got your fridges up here. Very nice, and Sub Zero is uh, is a wonderful, wonderful brand. Um, they they uh, uh, they just run for a long time, and they're well supported if uh, they ever need servicing. More storage here, and down below here, and here, and here, and dishwasher right here under the sink, uh, which is a very nice feature to have on a boat. Uh, directly underneath the sink, you've got uh, more storage. Uh, he's got paper towel and uh, dish detergent and that sort of thing. Uh, double stainless steel sink with a vegetable washer, which is uh, very nice to have. Soap dispenser right here. Instant hot water and instant cold water here. So if uh, you're making a coffee, uh, you don't have to wait for the kettle to boil. Uh, you've got the uh, instant hot water right there. Very, very nice, very convenient. Now, one of the things I really like about this is uh, you're standing here doing the dishes and look what I'm looking at, eh? Just beautiful, beautiful. It makes doing the dishes much more pleasant, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's have a look over here into the uh, dining area. So look at this, folks. Um, your uh, dining area here while you're underway um, is um, very, very compact right next to your galley which is great, um, but I love the versatility of this unit here. Uh, first of all, um, let me point out this wonderful bird's eye maple, uh, very complex grains in there that is just so wonderful and accents the teak, of course, doesn't it? It's, uh, you know, the colors in the bird's eye maple really bring out the, uh, the color in the teak. But look at this, this, this table is totally adjustable um, just by um, flipping up that handle. I can crank it up to make the table higher so that uh, the skipper can be uh, sitting here enjoying a meal along with his uh, guest sitting at the table. Or 
you can uh, turn it all the way down. I won't, I won't take it all the way down, but they, it goes right down to this level here, and there is another cushion that fits in there. And now this becomes a sea berth that would be used for a couple of kids or for uh, somebody who wanted to just use the uh, pilot house as a separate cabin. Pretty cool, very versatile. Now this seat is about the best that you can get. Um, stid seats are the uh, seat of choice by the U.S. Coast Guard. And uh, they, uh, they use these because they are so ergonomically friendly. There's so many adjustments on these that just make it comfortable for whomever is sitting in a seat. But they're also very, very well built. Uh, so they're going to last for a long time. So here at the helm, uh, boy, you're, you're fully in control. Uh, that's, these are, these stids are amazing seats. Very, very comfortable. Uh, notice the uh, lumbar support right here, uh, right in the uh, right in the center of my back, right where it's supposed to be. Anyway, let's go through this. Um, up in the uh, upper left there, you'll see uh, the VHF, uh, and to the right of that, analog gauges. For more detailed information than that, uh, you've got your uh, Cummins um, diagnostic displays right here for both engines, and this will give you everything. Uh, as well as uh, uh, the condition of each of your engines. Uh, up here, notice these huge displays. Uh, these, uh, right now, the uh, uh, left display is uh, set up for GPS chart plotting. And to the right, we've got depth here at 28 feet. And uh, uh, we've got uh, numerous cameras throughout the boat. Now, in the event of a fire, which is highly unlikely, of course, but in the event of a fire, uh, you've got your fire boy engine shutoff system and will deploy your fire boy uh, fire suppression system here. So lots of features on this boat that make it very comfortable and safe. So I'm hopping around here a little bit, but uh, so let me go back uh, to what uh, what's going on here. Um, this is the status of uh, your bilge pumps. Uh, just to the right of that, we have uh, your Fruno Autopilot, which is controlled uh, by this uh, jog steering here. Um, so rather than use your wheel, which by the way, look at it, isn't this gorgeous? This wheel was actually made in a cymbal factory and it is a piece of art. Stainless steel antique and it feels really good, really, really good. However, if you're just relaxing and uh, you just want to make a slight course correction, you just hit this. Uh, so right here, uh, we've got your um, NIAID uh, stabilizers, wonderful feature to have. Uh, in a cross sea, uh, there might be some roll. Well, that roll is totally eliminated uh, with, uh, with this control right here. We've got trim tabs, uh, not that you would need them unless you're uh, very, very uh, weighted down on one side or the other. Your up and down uh, controls here for uh, your windlass. Bow and stern thruster. By the way, the bow and stern thruster are 24 volt. Um, we, I, we saw that in action coming into the uh, dock here. It, uh, it's more than adequate to move this boat where you want it to go. Um, right here, of course, you've got uh, your uh, engine controls. Uh, these are digital ZF engine controls, which are wonderful to use. They're very easy to use uh, uh, and they respond very quickly. So what a wonderful experience this is right here, sitting here uh, high up in the uh, pilot house. Got great visibility. I can see, clearly see the bow from here. And uh, um, it, this is perfect for the Pacific Northwest, of course, because we do have logs up here. This boat does travel a uh, comfortable cruise at about nine knots. Um, if you want to push it, uh, she'll probably get up to 12. It is a full displacement hull, which is going to increase the stability and comfort of uh, operating this vessel, especially in a cross sea. But keep in mind what we talked about here with those digital stabilizers. Just a wonderful, wonderful feature to have uh, and a very, very comfortable ride. No pitching, no rolling. You just straight up and straight down. That's uh, a wonderful feature. The layout of this pilot house is awesome. It's just awesome. Um, you're in command of your, of your vessel. Uh, you've got those twin 
500 horsepower Cummins diesels down below that uh, are giving you all the power that you need in just about any condition, regardless of uh, your tide or uh, your wind. Uh, you've got you know, the best of navigation equipment as far as safety is concerned. Your guests are right up here with you while somebody is preparing food right behind you. What more could you ask for in a boat? Now, having said all this, let's leave this space. Yeah, I'm going to have to get out of this very comfortable stood chair and uh, take you down below to show you what's happening down there. Let's go. So come on, let's go down below and uh, see what's happening there. But on the way down, I want to point a few things out to you. So here we are in the uh, VIP cabin. Um, notice that uh, you've got opening port lights on both sides and they're big. So you can get a really nice cross draft in here. And uh, you've got uh, a hatch right over, over top of the uh, pillows as well, which is, uh, which is very nice. Uh, notice that uh, each cabin has its uh, own intercom system. On the starboard side, uh, you've got a hang-up locker. It's cedar lined, which is uh, very nice. This bunk flips up, uh, and uh, this is a good place to store his uh, vacuum cleaner. But lots of space in there. Easy to get in there with those gas assist shocks. All right, now over here on the port side, uh, we have another hang-up locker. All the cabins come with a TV. Reading lamps, really nice reading lamps actually. They're, uh, they're classic. This is the uh, day head here. You can access it privately from uh, this cabin. You can also access it from uh, the hallway here as well. So I'm going to close up this door now so uh, we can get into the third cabin that's here. Uh, notice that that catch is magnetic, so it, uh, it's very easy to, uh, it holds the door securely in place when you're in a seaway, but it uh, also um, is easy to open. Now in here is the kids' room, um, a nice over under bunk. Uh, this one also has uh, an intercom uh, throughout the rest of the boat. Here's the TV here, just uh, above the, uh, the pillow and uh, opening port light with the screen. In fact, screens on all the port lights, which is very nice. Hatch above here with another fire extinguisher. This is all very nice. Have a look in here. Uh, we've got a washer and dryer, separate washer and dryer, not one of those combo things. Uh, they do a much, much better job. And vented door as well. So all the humid air can uh, come out. So look at this uh, here in the master cabin. Um, double doors coming into the master cabin, which is nice. The other thing that I really like about uh, this master cabin is its location. It's right amidships. Um, being amidships, of course, is when you're at anchor, um, you've got the least amount of movement here. Uh, so that's, uh, this, is, this is where the master cabin should be. And just look at all this wood. I know I go on about the wood a lot, but I really love quality finished wood. It's uh, it's uh, it's almost a, it's almost an art that uh, that's disappeared now, and it's nice to see it in a quality vessel like this. Like the other cabins, here's uh, your TV um, and a remote control for the TV, and um, as I mentioned before, each cabin has its own intercom. Uh, tons and tons of storage. Uh, we, well, just, you know, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight drawers and cupboards right in this space here. You know, that's, uh, th that's more than enough. And uh, those drawers are all full of uh, clothes. And uh, so you can pack... Um, Pack clothes for quite a lengthy time. A larger cabinet up here, of course. And uh, again, um, lots of storage. And this one is cedar lined. Lots of storage for, for your clothes and uh, other things that uh, you want to bring along. Have a look at these hang up lockers, will you? Jeez. Plenty, plenty of storage for your clothes. Well, here in the uh, vanity area, this is uh, really well laid out. Uh, first of all, we've got uh, just a huge medicine cabinet uh, on both sides here. 
And uh, again with that uh, really nice locking hardware that I like. Uh, GOI uh, fixtures um, and a nice uh, sink Corian countertop as well. Great area for uh, putting uh, your toothpaste and toothbrush and whatnot when you're uh, when you're doing your ablutions in the morning. Uh, and again, keep in mind this is this is great because while somebody is here, somebody could be in the shower here uh, or in the head here. So it's really well laid out. Now this is not unique to uh, to this boat, uh, but it is a very very clever uh, layout, in my opinion anyway. Lots of storage here. And down below, yep, more storage here. And look at these big deep drawers underneath here. Um, four of these, two on each side of the bed, and more storage here uh, in the night tables as well, and underneath. Uh, so there's uh, just an amazing amount of storage in this boat. Uh, you can go away for a very long time and uh, have uh, some place to put everything that uh, you want to take with you. This is a good master cabin. Um, it is um, large enough, plenty large enough. I like the walk around, full walk around bed. So it's a queen size bed. So you're not disturbing your partner when you're getting out of bed. Well planned, well thought out, beautifully, beautifully finished, very luxurious. Nice, eh? Now let's go up top. I want to show you something up there. Well, now here we go. Look at this. What a great area for entertaining, eh? This is beautiful. It's a tea on this side and on this side and a kitchen outdoor kitchen up here. Look at this, will you? What a great boat for entertaining and just hanging out in an anchorage. Man, just look at this. And just look at this dinghy. Uh, it's already got the uh, harnesses uh, set up for it to uh, lift it off into the water. It's got a 40 horsepower uh, Yamaha engine on it. Um, you got a center console here, very, very comfortable to drive from. You could uh, carry four people in this boat very comfortably and just to get to the beach and uh, hang out on the beach or maybe just go to the pub, have a few refreshments there. Over here on the other side, of course, is uh, your uh, electric uh, Davit, that uh, 800 pound capacity, more than enough uh, to lift this into the water. And uh, it comes with, uh, a very high-end remote control, which uh, gives it uh, up and down, left and right. Um, so it's a very, very, very comfortable way of uh, uh, deploying your dinghy. Uh, so right here is a food prep area. Um, look at this very large space here uh, to prep your food. You could even get one of those small Weber barbecues and set it up right here if you like. Um, you've got uh, hot and cold fresh water here and a sink. And down below, uh, you've got uh, plenty of room for um, storage and another bar fridge, the same kind of bar fridge that you saw down in the cockpit. This is great. Once you've prepared your food, you bring it forward and you serve your guests right here. On this side of the boat, you've got a table and over here, uh, you've got uh, room for uh, probably four people there and probably three people here. And then, of course, uh, you got your pilot and co-pilot chairs as well. What a great place to entertain, eh? And just imagine yourself sitting in an anchorage. I mean, look, picture yourself sitting right here, enjoying uh, the food that was just prepared and maybe a couple of beverages, and just looking at this vista and feeling the breeze on you as I'm feeling the breeze on me right now. Just a beautiful experience. You're going to love it, but you got to get down here to have a look. Let's go up here to the uh, upper helm. Now up here uh, you have everything that you need to comfortably take command of the vessel. Uh, you don't have all the features that you have. For example, the uh, NIAD stabilizer will just give you the option up here to remote that they're active or not, um, or to put the fins at center. Uh, there's a loud hailer up here as well. Uh, which isn't down below. And of course you've got uh, your VHF radio. 
Uh, you've got a single screen up here, but that's really all you need. Right now the screen is set up for uh, radar and GPS chart plotter, but uh, you can set it up into any configuration that you want. Trim tabs, of course your engine diagnostics are up here as well. It's very important to have. Uh, also deploy your anchor uh, from right here as well with your uh, 24 volt bow and stern thruster and of course your ZF controls. Now jog steering here. Uh, once you uh, set your autopilot you don't even need to touch the wheel. That's a very very nice feature. I like it a lot. But again I, and I turn around and I look up and I just see this great big bimini covering uh, this entire space uh, to keep the sun and the rain off. Look at the view you get from up here. Isn't that marvelous? And of course, this is beautiful BC. You don't get too much better than that. But uh, being in BC on a boat like this would just give you so much luxury and so much comfort and uh, all the amenities that uh, you could possibly want to entertain your family and friends. Just look at the space up here. Uh, I'm just feeling the, uh, uh, the end of day breeze uh, blowing through this, uh, this space here and it uh, just feels great, just great. And Imagine yourself in your favorite anchorage with a crab trap out and a bottle of wine chilling and the uh, beverage cooler down below and, uh, and the world's your oyster. Doesn't get better than that, does it? So there's many great places on this uh, boat, um, places to just hang out, but uh, one of my favorites is right here as well. Uh, just walk through the Portuguese bridge and uh, while the boat is underway, this is a great place to hang out. You've got a uh, double seat here, double seat here. Uh, just lay back against that Portuguese bridge and just hear the bow wave splashing, splashing off the bow. Yeah, you'll, uh, you'll find this one of your favorite places as well. Uh, right here, we've got an 80-pound uh, CQR anchor uh, with a, a Skookum woodless to be able to get that off the seabed along with 400 feet of chain. So that, uh, that's more than enough to hold a boat, even a boat of this size. Easy access to get into uh, where your chain locker is and, and uh, your washdown. You've got both fresh and Holy cow, that is one heck of a washdown. <laughs> uh, so you've got both fresh water and salt water. It looks like a fire hose, my goodness. That's uh, more than enough here, and it's a long hose, so you get some mud onto your deck here, you can uh, just simply wash it off. Oh, that's really cool. Very nice. So let's go have a look at the engine room. So I'm uh, uh, sitting here in the lazarette. It was very easy to get to. And uh, as you can tell, um, I'm 6'1", and I'm uh, sitting in here in a very, very comfortable space. Yeah. So one of the advantages of uh, being on a big boat is that uh, you have big spaces, even in typical spaces that uh, are really hard to uh, get around in. So before we go into the engine room, I'm just going to point out a few features here. There are, in this space here, we have uh, six 208 amp hour house batteries. Uh, those were all replaced in 2021. Right here, we've got uh, your hydraulic pump for your uh, rudder. And there is an emergency tiller uh, right here that fits over the nut on the rudder and you can actually steer that way. Look at the cleanliness here in the Lazarette. This boat is 12 years old and it looks new. It's just crazy. He's just taken such meticulous care of it. So here's the watertight door that we came through um, and we're sitting in the engine space now, as you can tell. Um, now these big beautiful babies here are uh, Cummins QSCs. Um, they're 500 horsepower apiece. Um, they uh, transfer the power through ZF uh, gearboxes and uh, we showed you those controls up there. The uh, wonderful to use and just look at this engine space. Look, look at this engine mount. Just look at it. I mean, it's so clean and, and, and crisp down here. You would think that this boat just came out of the factory, but, and it did 12 years ago. We have uh, two fuel tanks here, uh, carries 350 uh, gallons a side, that's uh, US gallons. 
And uh, this is the exhaust that exhausts underwater for reduced noise. Have a look at these uh, uh, grid and stringer systems here. Very solid boat. In fact, um, I would even go so far to say is for a boat this size that it's overbuilt. So we've talked about space. Um, there is plenty of space in here for you to move around and service your engines as required. And you know how it goes. If you can't get to your engines to service them, you're not going to. So um, you're going to be very, very comfortable uh, servicing your engines in this space or uh, your captain is going to love you uh, or the fellow who's going to take care of your boat for you. Wow, didn't I tell you? What a beautiful, beautiful boat. Great performance, wonderful interior, three cabins luxuriously appointed, everything that you could ever want in a boat for cruising, even for weekend trips, or just going out for the day in comfort, in luxury, and it can be yours. All you need to do is give us a call. You'll be very glad you did. <laughs>